pretty. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Are you good? You wanna go do wee wee? Come on in, good morning, let's go. Let's go do it, come on. You know the way, come on, you know the way. Come on, print this way. <laughs> you know the way. Oh, she knows the way around the back, the cheeky around the back way. Go then, go do wee wee, good girl. Good girl. Man, it is so, so beautiful here this morning. Look at that sun rising just over the trees. Pretty looks so cute, just exploring in the wild out there. Pretty, you in the wild? You're like, man, I've never had a garden to win this big. Good morning, good morning, girls. How are you both this morning? Are you good? Are you good, Esme? What are you watching on that phone? Slime. Slime in the morning. Isla, how's your baby sleep last night? Good. They sleep good in this bed? I'm getting undressed. How did you sleep? I slept good. Oh, pretty, I know. You want your airtime too, I know. It's cool, man. It's cool. It wasn't crying. It wasn't crying? No. That's good. You have a good sleep too, pretty. <laughs> Jumping in my face. You want your airtime, darling? Good official morning, guys. Oh my goodness, look. Uh, how beautiful that is behind me right now. Like, I'm literally gobsmacked. These vlogs are gonna be really long, and I'm really sorry in advance because everything is too beautiful here not to film and include. Anyway, right now, we're just all up. I've just jumped out of the shower. I have got three extremely excited girls that have been in their swimming costumes. Check them out right now. <laughs> They've been in their swimming costumes literally since the minute they woke up, because they're desperate for me to open up this bad boy and let them out. So we're gonna do that right now. Oh my gosh, it smells divine. Ugh. That was a good, that was a good one-handed effort. Oh, look at how nice this looks. Oh my goodness. Where's my girls? Where's my girls? They're coming. Oh my gosh, here we go. Cut off. <laughs> Aren't you cold, Isla Savannah? Let's put the lights on. Are you coming in? <laughs> jump in, jump in, jump in. Tell me what it's like. It looks so good. It's nice. Is it nice? Yeah, it's so nice. Because <laughs> <laughs> my body's really cold. And I'm... It looks hot. It looks so nice. Where's Esme Alexa? Where is she? Come on, Esme. You're the water queen. I'm surprised you're not in already. I came out and then I forgot my other water, so I have to keep looking. I'm just going to put them in. Why don't you throw them all in there? Just throw them in. Just throw them all in the pool. Don't, throw them don't love it. Throw them in. Throw them in. <laughs> Woo! We're just in the hot tub. Oh, it's so nice and relaxing in this hot tub, everyone. Whoa. It is so nice. How are you like you like it, Isla? Yeah. Look at the bubble. Like you can even see the stick like the sun look over there. It looks so nice. I don't know what that is. That's like a random line across the sky. It's quite weird, actually. But it's really steamy in here and very, very nice and warm. I love you sunbathing. Yeah. It's very sunny. I said, do you want to sunbathe? Yeah, but there's not sun there. There's sun there. Not no. sun there, but it's good because it's so hot. You sunbathe there, I love Leave you in peace. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty there. Yeah. Hi, pretty. Good girl. Good morning guys, how are you all doing today? It's actually not morning, it's just coming up to midday. We're all just ready. I finally, with Chris's help, managed to wash my hair. You probably noticed how gross it's looked in the last two videos, and that's just because I couldn't do it. I couldn't wash my hair. And we've been so busy that I was going to do it yesterday before we left, and time just got away with us, and so I said just leave it, a bit of dry shampoo, and I'll do it tomorrow. I feel so much better, but I can't dry it with the hair dryer. Well, I can hold the hair dryer, but I usually run one hand fingers through it to move it around whilst the other one holds the hair dryer. And obviously, I can't do that with this beast on, so it's a bit frizzy, but I don't care. I'm still in my pajamas, and we're having the most lovely, cozy, relaxing, Christmassy family day ever. Anyway. The girls have been in the hot tub, they all just got out, got showered, washed their hair, dried their hairs, and now I'm very excited because this beautiful Christmas tree behind us 
is about to be decorated. We brought some baubles with us and Chris just got them out the trailer. We realized we didn't bring a star or anything for the top, but we had a package given to us or left here for us by Forest Holidays that was instructions on how to make your own star by collecting twigs and things from the forest. So we're going to go out for a walk after we've decorated it with the dogs and find some twigs to make a star for the top. Does that sound good, Isla? Yeah. That sounds like such a good idea. hurt her arm I thought that I'd help out and make I was gonna say breakfast then it's not breakfast I'd make some lunch we are all now sitting on the table for lunch Esme is doing the drinks and I'm getting all the plates and things ready Here we go, all of the food ready. Food ready! Well I think that she looks absolutely gorgeous. Why is it she? Oh, it's always a she babe. <laughs> that is beautiful, I think that's beautiful. I think that's more beautiful than any tree we've got in our house at home. It just looks it. so authentic and gorgeous. I'm sorry about the clicking noises, the screen is so broke on this camera. But it just looks beautiful, I, I love it. I think it looks bare here. Yeah but I think that's just the way it's grown. And that's just the way it is. You get your sling on, darling. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Anyway, let me turn the screen back around. We're just about to get ready to leave the house. It is currently half past two. We've got like an hour and a half left, maybe, of light. So we're going to head out into the deep, dark woods and go for a nice walk with Prinny. Hopefully, Mum and Dad are going to join us, maybe, with Coco. I don't know. We're going to go check them out and see if they want to. But yeah, we're gonna go have a nice walk outside and see what we can find and find some sticks to make our star for the top of the tree too. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh, that just reminds me, we got that um, orange bunting thing to make. Yeah, we'll do that later as well. We should do that a bit later. Yeah, we will do definitely. Oh gosh, that's so much better. You feeling all right? Yeah, I, get, I don't know how long, like I was saying to Chris before, I broke my arm when I was 11, but it was just my scaphoid. Scaphoid, that's the right word, isn't it? <laughs> and um, I was sure when I got my pot put on, it completely eased all the discomfort I was in and I took painkillers I think for like a day and then I was fine but this seems to be taking so long like it's Saturday today I did it on Wednesday and it hurts just as much today as what it did on Wednesday so do you think that's okay? It's because you've really badly broken it that's why it's just a type of break maybe it's the swelling or something maybe when the swelling goes down if you've broken those bones let me know how long it took for the pain to start going away because I hate taking painkillers and I feel like I'm just popping them all the time I hate it. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, let me know. Let me know how long it takes to stop hurting because it's throbbing right now. But we're going to go out for a walk. So let's go. You can't really tell on the camera, but just behind that hut across the way, it's so pretty. The sunset looks amazing. It doesn't even feel like we've been awake long enough for the sun to already be setting, but it is. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you whereabouts Mum and Dad's cabin is. So, Mum and Dad's cabin, our cabin backs onto like an area of grass and then the woodlands. So Mum and Dad's cabin, that's where their hot tub is just up there and it backs straight into forest. It's so pretty. That's where we're going for a walk right now. Deep into the forest. I hope you're ready girls. We might see some deer. We might even see a brown bear. Ah. What do you think? Do you think yeah. we'll see a bear? No. No, I don't think we'll see a bear. Winnie we might see some Winnie Woos though. That's true Isla. We might see a Winnie Woo. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness, Isabel. Oh my gosh, you're making me nervous. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Looks like slime. Okay. Hey! <laughs> it's the noise. <laughs> it's like, it looks like it's hot chocolate, but it's got so much chocolate in it. Listen. Oh, that's horrible. It's quite quick, Sam, Isabel. You're going to get stuck.
So we just finished our walk and I just came out of the woods and saw that. I mean, come on now, guys. That is so freaking pretty. And then you pan the camera down and you see Prinny in a whole different light. Oh my goodness, Prinny. Now that's a sign that someone's had a good time outside in the woods. Hey? <laughs> you look beautiful, Prinny Woo. You're a different colour, entirely, especially with them boots on. But you look like you've had fun, and that's what matters. Good girl. So we just got back from our little walk. We were out there about an hour and a half. Yeah. It was really good fun. It's just starting to get yeah. dark outside now, so we got back just in time. And we realised, whilst we were out, that this morning we haven't even had a look around for snowbell jingles and snowflake sparkles. We haven't seen them though. Esme says that she's looked everywhere and didn't see them, but I've not looked anywhere, and neither and have these it. two. So, yeah. who says we go have a proper search everywhere? Yeah. yeah. Start with start the kitchen. Start with the kitchen, yeah, I was going to say, start with the kitchen. That's we could do with some lights, lights on. Lights. There we go. Well, no. Living room? Well, they can't be around the tree because we just decorated yes. the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Under the beds, even. Is there any in our bathroom? Um, check it out. Put our lights on. No. 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 There's one more place. Well, Look under the bed. Oh, maybe. No. no. <gasps> My goodness! Wait, wait a minute, no, is it one minute? We need to get a light on. Okay, wait, okay. They came back! I never saw that! I, they came back, they must have gone, and they came back because they wasn't there this oh. morning, was not Oh. They weren't here this oh. morning. I found the thing. Can we read it? Surprise! <laughs> Yeah, you get those down, easy and see what they are. 50 festive joke cards. Oh, Grandpa will love those. Grandpa will love those. I'm going to bring them over to the house tonight. Okay. Elf mail, post here. Wait. What's this? What is it? Oh, yes, you write them a mail and then you put it You can write them a letter. Wow. Write them a mail. And then up here. Oh, what's this you got? Oh, there's three. There's three. What are they? So we got... Are they Activity calendars! Oh, oh, yeah. yeah! 24 activities to, to count down to Christmas! Christmas. Wow! Oh, do them all right now. Well, you'll be able to! Yeah. Won't you? And do you know what? I just realised something, you know, when we get off this holiday, we have Christmas, so all the bags that we haven't opened because we're You'll here, be able to open them all, we didn't we? Them at all. Because we accidentally forgot those and we yeah. left them at home. Girls, how cool are they? That's amazing! I'm not like. Um, that's so cute. Those. That's very nice of you, Isla. Good girl. Thank you. Come Thank on, them. You. So, the girls have been over at Granny and Grandpa's cabin whilst me, Chris, and we got Granny in too, helped come in to do a few little bits. Chris Ooh. is just mopping the floor. I'm about to probably fall. Why are you mopping the floor when the dogs are coming over? I know, it just looks a bit grubby, so. You know. Anyway, yeah, we got Granny and Grandpa to come in and help because. I'm not much use, but we got everything done we needed to do, but I just have to show you this because it's just literally made us all almost die laughing. Bit of an exaggeration, but it's hilarious. And I don't want you all commenting saying, huh? So just to let you all know, we do know. Where did I buy this from? Um, I can't even remember where I bought it. It's probably like Home Bargains or I think it might have been B&M. I don't know, but we bought it from somewhere and it's a Merry Christmas sign. <laughs> see if you guys can see. <laughs> Why is that so funny? It's not funny, that's really annoying. Guys, can you see the problem here? Can you see the problem there? Merry Christmas. 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 Merry Christmas. Where's the H? Where's the H? Why did they put an M instead of the H? It's ruined my beautiful Christmas sign. Chris said, put it in the bin, there's no point. And I'm like, no way, I paid two pound for that, it's going up. I don't care, it's comedy. <laughs> so we've put it up anyway. I think, Merry Christmas, everyone. No, it's fine. 
<laughs> I think Grandpa and the girls are on their way over. Sarah and Dave. Or oh, Sarah's just come over for one night on this little holiday adventure. She's adventure. So she's staying tonight. She's come over for one night with us. I think they're all heading over here. Are they coming over now? In a minute. When we let them Any minute. So we'll see you guys then. Okay, so we've got the girls back. Hello, Isabel. Y'all good, babe? You I'm good? You good? For the challenge, so. Oh, he's about to just let slip something right there, guys. So we've got oh. my brother. We've got Sarah for the night. We've got Sarah. We've got my dad. We've got my mum. We've got Esme and Isla somewhere as well, too. And we've got three of these bad boys. You know what's coming next? It's Christmas Eve Eve, guys. We've got to do something super special for Christmas <laughs> Eve Eve. And we're going to do it right now. We are having a triple, triple... Gingerbread house making kit challenge. So we've got three teams. Challenge. Obviously, I get lumbered with the invalid right now. So basically, I'm a man down. I'm on my own. Three couples. Three couples. This is team Sass. Winning team. Team Sass. We've got team. Well, one man team over here. That's me and Sarah, and probably Isla is also. It's definitely one man team because Isla's not in the mood right now to do this at all. And then we've got. Granny, Grandpa and Esme. The twist of it all is that you guys are going to judge the winner. So we're going to show everyone's houses and everyone making the houses and you guys need to decide which team busted it the best and which gingerbread house is the best. So let us know in the comments below when you're watching this who won and it better be me. Okay guys, are we ready? 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 Okay guys, let's go. Alright guys, one rule I forgot to tell you all about is there is a 30 minute time limit. We hear that guys? Yes. 30 yes. minutes to do it in. Okay guys, so inside the kit we've got some Smarties I think. We've got some like Millions type stuff. We've got some jelly tarts. We've got some icing sugar. And we've got the gingerbread slabs. Slabs. Are we ready for this, babe? Yeah, we're gonna kick it. We have to try our hardest. We have to kick it. I mean, we're at a disadvantage, but I think with a bit of positivity, we can do this. Oh, we're gonna do it. Isla, Isla, what do you think? Can we do this, Isla? I think we can do this. Let's I do it. I think we can do it. 30 minutes, okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, did that work? Go. No. Go! 30 minutes. We're counting down. 29, 57. Go, go, go. So we're letting Isla fully decorate ours. Because it's all about the fun, isn't it, Isla? Yeah. Isla's got her own little imagination on how she wants it to be, so we're going to leave it all to Isla. So what we have made, we've got some decorations on the front that I really like. You did very good there, Isla. And then on the sides. Very, very pretty, Isla. And then on this side, it's pretty much the same. Very nice. <laughs> and then on the and back. And we even did the back. <laughs> That's very, very beautiful. I think we did a good job, babe. What do you think? Well, yeah, I think we did. I think we did good. That's a good gingerbread looking house for me. Okay, moving on to I Isabel and okay. Dave. So we wrote Sarah. iPhone on ours. Oh, that's so cool. It, I didn't it, even see we, that. Yeah, it was cute. It was, it's okay. We like tried to write that's it very there. good. That's and amazing. Then, we, we actually, look, we did similar. We did the, um, everyone did that. Yeah, oh, and, so cool. Um, and then on the side. Let's have a look. Be really careful really not to talk anybody else's. Oh, that's really Very pretty. nice. Then at the back. And then we did this little awesome. sweet at the Awesome. That's really cute. good. And we even put some sweets, like, down the sides and the. That's yeah. very cute, Isabel. Okay, Esme, let's have a look at yours then, babe. This is very good. They had a bit of a disadvantage oh. because Granny... Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. oh, we had a disaster. Oh, no. Oh, bless her, babe. Go get her. Oh, no. So, little Esme got a bit upset because Granny... What did she do? Made it. She squeezed the ice in a little bit too much. It wasn't Granny's fault, we didn't know this, but she squeezed it a little bit too much and it made the icing very wet, so it didn't set right. Is that right? But guys, Esme worked very, very hard on this house, didn't she you? She did. You worked very hard on it, so I think she deserves a big round of applause. Yay. Well done, babe. Well done. And it was a very beautiful house. Okay, so I think we did get a shot of the house before it collapsed. 
And do you know what, guys? It wasn't about who wins. We had a lot of fun doing that. That was fun, okay? Yeah, so... guys, comment below, though, who won. Isla, Team Isabel, or Team Esme. Let team us know Sassy. below. I think somebody. I think somebody. You little beauty. <laughs> <Esme. laughs> All right, guys, anyway, time for dinner. So that's it for the day before Christmas Eve. We're just all settling down. I'm just about to say goodnight. So girls, look at these two. So cute. Girls, it's better than literally two minutes, okay? Okay. Two minutes and I'll be back. Three. Izzy, excuse me, it's <coughs> time in literally two minutes, okay? Yeah. I'll be back to say goodnight. It's Christmas Eve. I know, I'm so excited. I'm really blurry. I am beyond excited guys you'll have to excuse my crazy hair i can't do anything i can't straighten it i can't sort it out i can't even dry it properly so you're gonna have to just put up with me for the next few days until the swelling's gone down and i can actually move my fingers tomorrow's christmas eve god it's literally my favorite day of the whole year I think Christmas Eve tops Christmas Day. I don't know why, but I've always loved it way more. The anticipation of Christmas Day and all the fun and excitement. I just love it so much. It's my favourite day of the year by far. And I can't wait to celebrate it here at Forest Holidays. We're all here as a family and we're just having so much fun. I'm going to have to set the camera down somewhere because it's breaking my arm. I just want to say a personal thank you for everyone that has sent comments, emails, text messages. Instagram posts and everything, private inboxes about my arm and all your love and support, it's meant the world to me. And over the last few days, it's really cheered me up because I know it's kind of not the end of the world, it's only a break, but it has stopped me doing a lot of things that I would like to have done over the last couple of days. And a few plans that I've not been able to take care of and things like that, which Chris has just been amazing. But all your love and comments have just cheered me up so much. So I just wanted to say thank you very much. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. It's been a super fun day. I know we filmed so, so much. So I've got no idea how Chris is going to edit this down and make it into a 20 minute or so vlog. Anyway, hope you've all enjoyed it and you'll all come back tomorrow again at 6 p.m. to see our Christmas Eve vlog. We're so excited. We love you all so much and we will see you then. Goodbye.